Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, it's hard to put a finger on exactly what we're missing, like as a, as a culture in terms of like why, why this aspect of our lives is lacking, I guess. Um, and I, in my life, there are, I think two or three people, yourself included, that truly, um, do the work to maintain active relationships in, in their life. And, um, I think you do a very good job of, of, of maintaining that. Um, and just by reaching out and setting up calls and, you know, check-ins every six months, like all that, all that stuff adds up. And, and I think that we're here as a product of that, um, as, as, as a product of your efforts. And, um, I think that, I don't know that that kind of um, relationship. Uh, I'd like to foster that myself in my own life and and keep relationships alive, which I think is is you know the tools in your book help help people do that and and to maintain those because I think it's so it's so um, it's easier than people would think you know, but it's almost like we're lacking some assertiveness in some some sense to just go out and and have these conversations with people. And one of the things that I got from your book was that. So many people are willing to have conversations with you, and it's like there's a there's a book I read, um, "Never Split the Difference" by Chris mm-hmm. Ross, who's an FBI negotiator. And in negotiating with, um, you know, in certain FBI situations, whether it's a hostage negotiation or whatnot, he found that people just really want to be listened to, no matter if if they're a criminal or not. Like you can have a conversation with just about anybody. And, and the crux of the issue is, is if you're willing to hear them out, you'll be surprised what people will tell you. Mm-hmm. And that, that stands for the most introverted people out there who may, you know, kind of be in a shell, but um, it's interesting. I, I feel like you, you also lent an ear. You're, you're interested in, in what people have to say. And that's also very important uh, part of this equation. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm very much a naturally curious person. So, uh, and I'm curious about people specifically. Um, you know, people have curiosities around how things work or whatever. My, my curiosity is definitely around people. But yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. Like, everyone wants to be listened to. And um, the feedback I've received from the people that I've chatted to is like, this was a lovely thing. Thanks for taking the time to show an interest in, in my story. Um, because, you know, if you imagine, somebody re- like your friend reaching out to you and offering you hey i would love to sit and ask you about your life like for for the vast majority of us that would be a lovely thing to receive like that message uh, or that call and then to set the time up to actually have a chat you'd be like oh cool like yeah like, i feel you know kind of special that they want to take the time to actually ask me um about things i think we live in a world that like very much glorifies you know celebrity culture to the point where um, I've had a few comments from people being like, oh, why would, why would you want to ask me if I haven't lived an interesting life or whatever? And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> objectively, maybe uh, what you're kind of comparing yourself to is not as interesting. But like, to me, you, it is incredibly interesting because you're in my life and you're, you're my friend or family member or whatever. And your story really does matter to me. Um, but yeah, if you just sit and think of, you know, if you were to receive that message from a friend being like, hey, I'd love to take the time to sit and ask you about your life. And maybe we can, um, you know, go down memory lane together and just reflect on our shared experiences in our relationship. Um, would you be up for that? Like, if you imagine receiving that message, I mean, that's just a positive thing to, to, to be on the other end of, right? So um, I think that if you think of it like that, then, you know, it's a great thing to do for your family member and friend as well as yourself. So, um, and, and, and the other thing as well is that, you know, the way I've been thinking about these conversations is that it's an activity to do with people that I already spend time with or already have calls with or already hang out with. Um, and it's just a different kind of catch up. It's just a different activity to, to spend some time doing. So, you know, a lot of the, the ones that I've done in person in particular, I've just treated it like, hey, do you want to come around? We'll have a couple of beers at mine and we'll just record this thing. Um, and, and you know, it, instead of going out for dinner, let's just like come in mind and we'll, we'll catch up and then we'll do this activity. So I've kind of looked at it like that. And um, that's made it easier, I guess, to kind of explain to people what it is. But also, yeah, it's the kind of thing that I think anyone would love to be invited to be part of. So then if you just flip that around and, and you take the initiative, 
initiative to invite your family and friends to do it, then yeah, I think it's a, a simple enough thing. 